let us compute from the manifest from our understanding of the manufacturing account so far let us try and calculate the cost of raw material consumed purchased 80000 opening stock 5000 opening stock at work in progress given 12000 finished goods 8500 closing stock of raw material 6350 work in progress 12400 and finished goods 4500 but we need to calculate only the cost of raw material consumed. What are our options? A. 82,500, B. 78,250, C. 78,650, and D. 82,250. This is only raw materials. Purchase is 80,000 plus opening stock is 5,000 less closing stock is 6,300 and 50. Therefore, the answer should be 78,650 should be the correct answer. 78,650. This is purchased, this is opening stock and this is closing stock. This was not consumed, it's reduced. 78,650 should be the correct answer. Option C. Next, from the following information, compute prime cost and the cost of goods produced. Purchase of raw material 80,000. Opening stock again given to us. Actually, the problem is the same as before. Opening stock of raw material work in progress and finished goods given to us. Closing stock also given to us. Direct wages and factory overheads. What do we need to find out? We need to find out prime cost and the cost of goods produced. The options are 91,350 and 1,1750. B, 91,350 and 1,2,50. C is 88,650 and 1,4,250. And D, 88,650 and 1,2,50. So what is prime cost? Prime cost is direct material plus direct wages plus direct expenses, all direct costs. So what is our direct cost? Raw material, we had already done in the previous one, but still 80,000 plus 5,000 opening stock of raw material minus 6,350, giving us 78,650. This is raw material, direct material. Plus, is there direct wages? Yes. Direct wages are 10,000. So that's it. Prime cost is 88,650. 88,650 is the prime cost. Next. Next, what do we have? We need to find out the cost of goods produced. What is the cost of goods produced? is prime cost 88,650 plus overheads 12,000 plus opening work in progress minus closing work in progress closing work in progress is 12,400. Overhead something. This would give us 12,400. How much would this be? 12,000 minus 400. One lakh twelve thousand six fifty less twelve thousand four hundred. That is 
one lakh two fifty. So our correct answer is prime cost eighty eight six fifty. Cost of goods produced one lakh two hundred and fifty. Prime cost all direct cost direct material direct material is material consumed opening stock of material plus purchases less closing stock of material. Add direct wages and add other direct expenses if any. That gives us the prime cost. For cost of goods produced, to the prime cost, we added overheads, we added opening work in progress, deducted closing work in progress, and factory overheads, and arrived at the cost of goods produced one lakh two fifty. Next. Stock of raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods given opening and closing. During the year, manufacturing overhead expenses came to sixty one one hundred, wages forty four hundred, and purchase of raw materials ninety one nine hundred. No other direct expenses. The cost of raw material consumed, issued, and used. Basically, the raw materials consumed. Is it one lakh nine three hundred ninety one two hundred ninety one nine hundred or ninety two six hundred? And the manufacturing cost of finished goods produced one lakh thirty one six hundred one lakh ninety three three hundred one lakh ninety one nine hundred and one lakh ninety two five hundred. So very similar to the previous problem. Just for practice, I'll give you a little time to work it out on your own. <coughs> Raw material consumed should be seventeen four hundred plus ninety one nine hundred minus closing stock of raw materials eighteen one hundred ninety one nine hundred is raw materials purchased opening is seventeen four hundred we add less eighteen thousand one hundred so seventeen four hundred plus ninety one nine hundred minus eighteen one hundred should give us ninety one. Two hundred. This should be raw material consumed. This is the raw material consumed. Next question is, what else do we have to compute? Manufacturing cost of finished goods. So what is that? Raw material consumed is already given. We have found out ninety one two hundred. What are our other expenses? Uh, prime cost. If you find out, it is ninety one two hundred plus. Forty four hundred. This is actually our prime cost. Next, let us add factory overheads of sixty one one hundred, and then we have opening work in progress, and we will deduct. And we will deduct closing work in progress two zero three nine hundred less eleven thousand four hundred. One lakh ninety two five hundred. One lakh ninety two five hundred. So what did we do? Raw material consumed is clear. This is raw materials. This is direct wages, giving us prime cost. To that we added overheads. We added opening work in progress and deducted closing work in progress to give us cost of goods manufactured one lakh ninety two five hundred raw material consumed plus raw material consumed is direct materials direct material consumed plus direct wages plus direct expenses gives us prime cost add factory overheads to that. Add opening work in progress, deduct closing work in progress, and what you get is the cost of goods produced. Cost of goods produced. If there is any sale of scrap 
or sale of byproducts, the, the, the sale, the revenue from such sales being a nominal amount, this can be reduced from the cost of production, can be reduced from the cost of production or cost of goods produced.